How's it going, Phone Lab? It's Root Junkie here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about this Chromebook and how to firmware restore these devices. So it's pretty cool and it's not that hard to do. So let me go ahead and show it to you. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to boot this thing into recovery mode. So to do that, you're going to go ahead and hold down power and shut off the device. So we'll go ahead and power it down. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hold two keys on the device and then hit power. The one, the keys you're going to hold are the escape key right here and the refresh key right there, possibly F3 on your Chromebook or Chrome device, depending. But you're going to go ahead and hold these down. And then you're just going to tap the power button. So go ahead and tap it. And this is going to go ahead and boot you guys into recovery mode. When you see this screen or a similar screen on your Chromebook, then you'll know you're in recovery mode. From here, we have to actually create the, uh, the firmware. And we're going to need a separate computer to do that. So let's go over to my other computer and get the firmware on the device so we can restore the firmware on this device. All right, let's get the files you guys are gonna need to do this Chromebook recovery. So this is what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna go to this link right here and I have it linked below this video here on Phone Lab. So just click on the link, it's really simple. Um, and it'll open up this. So for this to function, you have to install this add-on to your Chrome browser. So you have to be in Chrome you also have to be signed into Chrome. So right here you'll see settings. Under there you'll see if you're signed in or not uh, if you click into settings. So that's what we got to do. We got to install this. You can see I've got already installed. So what we're going to do is you're going to launch the application. So I'm going to go ahead and click launch. And to do this you're going to need to have some things here. So first of all you're going to have to either need a 4 gig um, flash drive or SD card depending on your device. If your device has an SD card if it doesn't you can just use a USB flash drive. Either way, you have to have one that's at least four gigs or bigger. Everything on the market at this point is that, so it shouldn't be hard to get your hands on that. So make sure your device either has a micro SD card slot or a normal USB or USB Type C to use a flash drive. So you're gonna you're gonna need that. You're gonna need one that's blank that you can then that can be factory reset. So we're gonna go ahead and say get started. And the first thing you gotta do is you gotta identify your product. So there's two ways to do that. One of them is to look at the recovery screen, like you can see here on mine. And it does tell you the product right there on the bottom. Or you can do a search. So if you know the product, you can just type it in right here. Otherwise, you can do this. Select model from list. And this is really simple. This is the way I'm going to do it. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down here to, for me, I have a Samsung. So I'm going to click on that. And then I have um, right here a Samsung Chromebook Plus. So I'm going to click that. All right. So Samsung and Samsung Chromebook Plus. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And now it says to go ahead and plug in my SD card or USB um, flash drive into my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. There we go. So it says there's nothing plugged in currently, but then it now it says there is something. So this is really critical. Um, just be aware that it is going to completely wipe this flash drive. So I'm going to go ahead and select the one I want. This is 14 gigs. That's the size of the flash drive I've gotten plugged in. Just make sure you're not flat wiping anything that you don't want to wipe. So it's pretty important. Probably what I would do if I were you guys would be to go into my computer and just come over here and make sure that you're not selecting one of these. This is what I'm actually selecting is this uh, removable disk right here. It normally would tell you your size and then you can match sizes and just make sure. So just make sure you go into my computer and just check. Just make sure you're not wiping one of your own drives. That would be bad. So mine's 14, so I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And then important, all data will be lost, yada, yada, yada. Again, that's why I'm warning you guys, make sure this is the right drive. Go ahead and create now. And it's going to go ahead and download the firmware for this device. That's what's so beautiful about this Chromebook recovery utility is once you select your, your, your make and your model, it does everything else for you. You don't have to go find the firmware online. It covers every Chromebook firmware and boom, you've got it. And it puts it right on your chip for you. So the process is very, very simple once you get this set up. I'm gonna go ahead and let this finish the creating the recovery image for me and we'll get back to it. Okay, so the process has completed. You can see over here, you can remove your recovery media now. Um, and then it says to recover your Chromebook, uh, plug recovery media into your Chromebook. After recovery, you can erase your recovery media and, uh, using this utility, actually, which is interesting. We're not going to be doing that. So we're just going to go ahead and click, click done, and we're good. Let's go ahead and remove our chip from 
the uh, computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it. And let's go over to the Chromebook. All right, so I went ahead and took the um, firmware we created over on my computer and I put it in on this is what I did on my computer, but this computer has USB type C ports. So I've got a USB type C card reader right here that I'm gonna actually put this chip into. There's also a chip slot on the side of this machine. So you could put it in there possibly as well, but I'm gonna use this. So we're gonna go ahead and plug that in. Uh, and it should start the process. The other thing I wanna note is that you're probably gonna to wanna to have your power cord plugged in during this whole process just to make sure everything's gonna work correctly. So the first thing it does in the flash is it verifies the integrity of the recovery of media, which is the recovery of the media on here. It also makes sure that it's the correct recovery media for this specific device. Otherwise things obviously aren't gonna work. So it's doing that, that's the first step in this process. Really from here it's almost hands off. Just be aware when you're doing this that this will completely wipe device, it will completely restore the firmware. And really this is used when maybe you did like a power wash like you saw in my previous video and you're like, hey, that power wash didn't take care of issues. I still have problems on my device. Then you go ahead and you fully flash the firmware. Or maybe you've modded the system in some way and messed something up. Then you fully flash the firmware, which is what we're doing here. So system uh, recovery is in progress. Do not turn off or power off the device is what it's warning you right here. Again, like I said, make sure you have power in there. Make sure nothing's going to get bumped here as well. You don't want it to unplug something while you're working on it. Uh, generally what I would probably say to do at this point is just walk away. This pre-store process doesn't take a long time, but if you walk away, you come back, it'll be done and booted up and you'll be able to go about your business and resetting up your device. So let's let it finish up the recovery, restore, firmware, reset process here. All right, it looks like the system recovery is complete and it says to please remove the recovery media, which is this little drive right here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that. And that should force a reboot of the device. It's interesting how warm this gets. I don't know if it's just this specific card reader, but mine's actually pretty warm doing this. Now, okay, so you guys can see, look how quick this thing's done. Once it's restored, it is restored. So you're done, that's it, that is the process. This thing is like brand new, you've reflashed the firmware, it is brand new device for you. If there is any problems from this point on, I guarantee you almost 100% that unless there's a problem with the firmware you flash, which it can't be if it's from, Google, then you've got an issue with hardware. You've got a problem with a key, a button, something else hardware wise is causing your issue on your device because you are fully restored at this point. So that's going to wrap it up for me. That is the video. Just go ahead and set it up like new and your Chromebook is as good as new. That's going to wrap it up and we'll catch you guys in the next Chromebook video. Brew Junkie out.